Welcome into my MetaQuest 3. I'm the Metaverse Pirate. And a few hours ago, I bought a new program. It's called Stellarium. And the makers of Stellarium, well, already 20 years. I know them from two dimensions. And they created it, a version for the MetaQuest 3. And I'm pleasantly surprised because, because this is a great program. Especially if you like astronomy and you know want to know the stars and the planets uh, and so on for example let's start with the sun so it's daytime so i go to the sun over there and there you can see is in the constellation of leo the magnitude how many uh, kilometers they are the mass the surface temperature and if i go to view well then i'm inside the uh, solar system and there I can see it from below. I can turn around like that. So, And if I go to the planet Earth over there, I can do the same thing. A view over there. And now I can uh, look it from below over there. This is, of course, Antarctica, the polar cap. So this is the continent and there's ice over there. And if I go to the North Pole, you can see the North Pole has almost disappeared. This is Greenland, a thingy that um, Donald Trump likes so much. And this is the dividing line between uh, day and night. And this is um, all correct. And there's a lot of um, explanations return to Earth. And all those little things you see, for example, if I take uh, Percy I, and uh, there I can see um, all the deep sky objects with uh, pictures. And then you can see more on Wikipedia. So open clusters over there. So um, uh, for the settings, you click on the menu. You go to the settings over there. You can choose uh, language. They're uh, in French, German, Italiano, uh, Japanese, Korean and uh, other languages. Um, I switched off the music. This is my location, of course. Uh, the time is Europe, Brussels. You can change uh, the landscape. Um, if you want to have another landscape, uh, you click current landscapes. Uh, you can put the cardinal, cardinal points. You can switch off the atmosphere on and off and transparent like that so i switch it off of course the time is very uh, important and then you can travel in time the next night you see the next night and so on and you can change you can go back in time to um the time of birth <laughs> of jesus christ seven years before christ and then you can see the three planets uh, together there's also um, a lot of buttons. You can change the boundaries over there. Uh, all visible. So these are all visible. So you can do a lot of things. You can switch on the labels. Uh, you can switch on the stars like that. But that's too much. The visible stars, the solar system, the deep sky thingy. So, okay. Go to the general. And um, you have also tours. Uh, you can look for the planets over there. Uh, go to the planet Mars. Um, there you can see from below. And if you click on that name over there, uh, you can see the explanation. Let's go to Saturn. Oh, I love that planet with the rings. And those rings are made from ice chunks. And those chunks vary from a, a peanut to a bus. And it's all made of uh, ice and water over there. So Saturn is a gas planet. And if I want to see the moons of... Um, I take one of the moons over there. Take Mimas. A moment, you have to click. Sometimes the program is not responding. Because you need... Um, well, you have to find out for yourself... Um, so you can see all the, the, the planets over there. Let's go to Uranus. You have to pronounce it Uranus. It's a gas planet. It's very cold over there. And there you can uh, uh, go back, introduction. And then you can read the text over there. And 
well, Neptune is the farthest uh, planet over there. And then you can uh, see all those things. Well, there you have it. You have your um, uh, planetarium, but in three dimensions. And, well, if I look at the reviews in the Metastore, uh, all people think it's great. And um, if you're lucky, you can have it for 50% uh, discount. Uh, instead of 10 uh, euros, it's now 5 euros. So in dollars, it's about 3.5, 3.9 dollars. Well, there you have it. This is uh, the program uh, Stellarium. Go back to the sky view over there. And there you can watch the... And you can even uh, watch satellites. So if I go over there, I see the Starlink uh, 3100, oh, 31,214, that's his number. And Elon Musk is polluting our beautiful earth with that bullshit over there. Well, uh, and that's the Milky Way over there. So you would be surprised how our uh, beautiful sky is polluted it with all those bloody Starlings. I mean, one, two, three, four. I think I see about a thousand starlings over there. And it's all happening in real time. So this is not imagination. Uh, those starlings are real, but with the naked eye, you cannot see it because I put the settings on uh, Starlink as a satellite internet constellation operated by that idiot uh, Elon Musk, blah, 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 and so on. Well, I will stop it because... Um, this is a short uh, walkthrough, um, and sometimes you can't find another satellite, but I'm afraid that they're all uh, Starlinks over there. And let's take another one. No, they're all Starlinks. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in a next video. Want to beam up, Mr. Scotty?